Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nick Acosta coming at you again with another video. So let's grow. I want to talk to you about prayer. I want to talk to you about the presence of God. Let me tell you what the presence of God is not for. The presence of God is not for us to hope for angels to appear. It's not for us to be expecting and always be thinking about, you know, rubies and gold dust and feathers to appear. It's not what the presence of God is for. As a matter of fact, the presence of God is not even for us to try to attain spiritual gifts and try to attain power so that when we minister, we can minister with the power of the Holy Spirit. It's not what the presence of God is for. The presence of God is to be with God, our friend, our companion, our God, our Father, our Comforter, our Helper, our Teacher who leads us into all truth. It's to be with him, the one we say we love. So how come every time we're talking about the presence of God in prayer, it sounds like we only want to do it or want to motivate others to do it to get something out of it. Now, I'm not ignorant. I've read the word of God and I know God for myself. And I understand that the more you know God, the more you spend time with God. As a matter of fact, when you digitally, digitally seek the Lord, there will be a reward. There will be some type of good displayed in your life because of it. But it doesn't say to seek the Lord for things. We should never we should never desire the presence of God for some type of experience with for some type of manifestation because then we're doing intimacy for a payoff. That sounds like a bad career out there, right? We shouldn't do that. The presence of God is for you to get to know your God. For you to worship him, be in awe of him, and thank him for all he's ever given you. Thank him for everything he does for you every day. To thank him for his word. To ask him questions about his word. Things you don't understand. He'll answer you. He'll tell you. He'll lead you into all truth. He's our father. Let him father you. He's not going to father you if you only show up. And while you're praying and you're worshiping and singing along to songs, you got your eyes open and you're looking for manifestations and you are got your eyes closed and you're hoping for a vision and, and, and you got all these hidden agendas and strings attached to a relationship and a relationship is without strings no strings attached hey man that's why I got that in the back of my shirt there should not be any strings attached there should not be any strings attached at all <laughs> you know when we go out to pray for folks when we offer free prayer, it should really be free prayer, free from hidden agendas, free from the desire to invite them to our church for the event so that we can tally up souls and, and, and be in good standing with our pastor and outreach um, leader and all that stuff that is, is always about business. But when we go out there for free, there will not be strings attached. Same thing when we come to the presence of God. Are we there to talk with him, to sing to him, worship him, thank him for who he is, what he's given us, thanking him for the biggest sacrifices of them all, the blood of Jesus, the body of Jesus, our Savior, the Lamb of God who took his own blood to the seat of mercy in heaven and offered it and sacrificed it and placed it there as the high priest so that we can be forgiven and cleansed of our old sins and of all unrighteousness. That's what we got to think about when we pray and we'll be thankful and it'll be more about what he did than what we want out of it. Uh, more of, about what we already have, more about who he is in his presence. You know, can we pray to, 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 to come humbly before his presence and repent for our wrongdoings, repent for our flaws? You know, can we come humbly before him and just ask him to change us because we see some things in our relationships with people, see some things in our desires and motives, see some things when we treat our wife a certain way or our husband, etc. And we need him to change us, to conform us to the image of his son, to transform us. Shouldn't we we come to God for him to transform us instead of coming to God for the supernatural and just expect a supernatural transformation. But the Bible says that transformation comes by the renewing of the mind. Transformation comes when the spirit of God conforms us to the image of Christ. So how come we don't want to spend time with him unless it's for something else other than transformation? Other than relationship, the intimacy, communion, the joining of two becoming one and enjoying each other's presence and company. 
You understand what I'm saying to you? It's more than a manifestation. It's a relationship. And until you get that, you will still have. I don't care if you're listening to sonship, identity in Christ, new covenant messages and preachings, and that's what you're preaching yourself. I don't care if you're going out healing the sick. You will always have a heart of an orphan. You will always have the heart that depends on things, on manifestations, on events that look nice and cute for you to feel good, accomplished, and spiritual. But what's really spiritual is you knowing your God you knowing that you are his and spending time with him, allow him to transform you, repenting before him, becoming humble before him so that he can fill you with grace and give you mercy and so that you can go boldly about everywhere you go. You understand what I'm saying to you? First thing is first. And first things is the first thing for us believers is to know God, to be in a relationship with God. Amen. So I want to encourage you today. To get into the presence of God and thank Him for His presence and nothing else. Stop looking for signs. Stop looking for things floating in the air and appearing and all of that stuff. And I'm not saying anything bad about manifestations, okay? I'm not saying I don't believe in them. I'm not saying I don't see them. All I'm saying is I'm not here to talk about that. I'm not here to distract you because too many have distracted you already. Too many have you going from conference to conference trying to get gold dust on your hand. You understand what I'm saying? But few times do we go hit the streets and pray for folks. And if we do, that's cool, but it's still not better than coming to the presence of God. So many times we do all that stuff, go to the conferences, go to the streets, see thousands of healings. But how, how much time are we spending with the Lord? How much time are we allowing Him to transform us? How many worship songs do we sing alone instead of doing the sing-alongs every, when everybody else is watching? You understand what I'm saying to you? And it might sound strong to some people, but that's just how it is. And we have to admit when we're not doing something the Bible way, when we're not doing something with the right motives, and we shouldn't have partiality with people, we shouldn't be seeking relationship with people for what we can get out of them. So don't you think we definitely shouldn't do that with the Lord? We should, we should just get in the presence of the Lord for the Lord and for and for His will to be done in our lives, for Him to transform us according to what He thinks it should be like, according to what He knows we should end up as, according to His will, His purpose, His ways, His plan, not ours, not what looks cool and spiritual, according to what He wants from us. Give Him your heart today. Go into prayer and make it about Him and make it about you knowing Him and Him knowing you and nothing else because everything else is a distraction and is not priority and it can still be an idol. I'm sorry, but sometimes we got to check ourselves. And if you ain't checking yourself and God checks me first, then I might as well check the camera. And whoever gets checked, then check. That's A-OK -okay with me because that's my purpose. Amen. I want you to like this video, comment on this video just for the purpose of bringing more views to it. More participation brings more circulation of the video through the web. And I need, I know, I need more brothers and sisters to get this so that we can really enjoy our time with God and so that he can really have his children paying attention to him and not just to the things that he might or might not bring to the table. Amen. So comment on this video, like this video, and share it for your family for your friends to see this because we all got to get deeper in our relationship with the, Lord, with the Lord. His presence should be about Him and it should be about Him changing us. It should be about us coming humbly before Him in repentance and worship and thanksgiving, asking Him questions, hearing Him answer, and just spending quality time in communion with Him and nothing else. Whatever we want to see during ministry, whatever we want to see when we hit the streets up, let us see that when we get there. But until then, focus on your relationship with the Lord. Amen.